Good morning, Santa Teresa. We have your announcements for March 29th, 2010. Yes, we do. By the way, we hope you had a wonderful weekend. The fact of the day, today is on this day in, 19, in 1871, the Royal Albert Hall is opened by Queen Victoria. As for clubs, they're going to be meeting NHS in room 250 and Interactive in room 412. Let's move on to sports. As for sports, golf will have a meet against Sobrato today at SJ Muni at 345. Good luck. And tomorrow there will be an end-of-season awards ceremony for the basketball team from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the library. And on the subject, Santa Teresa golf team is 5-1. and one. Good job, guys. That's amazing. And, uh, it is. It is. And the Spirit Squad will be performing at Nationals today, so good luck, guys. I hope you guys, hope you girls do good. Nice. Okay, so let's move on to weather for this week. Weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santa Teresa, I have your five-day weather forecast for you. Let's take, let, let's take a look at that. As you can see, uh, temperatures in the upper 50s, probably reaching those mid-60s, mid as unfortunately we won't have those sunny skies like we had last week. Um, let's take a further approach into that. Further on to the week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pretty much rainy conditions, unfortunately. There it is. Thank you, Hafid. And unfortunately, we might have a little bit of worse weather. Say goodbye to the sunshine next week. Yeah. A little more this week, anyways. Anyways, now we're going to move on to Facts with Phipps. So let's check this segment out. Let's do it. Facts with Phipps! Now, not many of you may know, but America, during World War II, actually held Japanese internment camps and forced all the Japanese, or at least the Japanese citizens that they could find, unless they were fighting in the war, to go to these internment camps. That's something you may not know. America isn't so innocent. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to our second feature of the broadcast. Let's roll that. Let's roll it. <laughs> Hello, San Teresa. Stephen here, editor of the Monday Broadcast. I am here with Miss Hirata and Eddie to interview them about the art show. So, can one of you guys tell me what the, what is going to be in the art show this year? So, uh, Stephen, we're going to be hosting uh, live art. We're going to be ho hosting uh, mounted work in the library, and uh, we're going to have live dance and music at an outdoor stage. And um, a new feature this year is going to be a uh, live fashion, which we're hoping to have in a theater this year. And if not, we're going to have it in um, Ms. Harada's art room. So. What are your goals for the art show? So um, this is our second year running the art show at Santa Teresa. And we're really looking to expand the show this year under Eddie and um, a lot of the advanced multimedia student direction. So what we'd like to do is involve a lot of our students in the show and um, have a lot of people come out for it in support of the arts because we know that there's a lot of district budget cuts and we want to make sure there's a lot of awareness and um, yeah, and that people come out and enjoy it and they display their work, they have a chance to show their, show their stuff in the community and be able to invite friends and just have a good time. Good, good. Um, Back to you guys. <laughs> okay, and to finalize our broadcast, for those of you who want to know more about the iMatter protest, there will be an informational meeting on Monday, March 29th at 4 p.m. in room 306. Anyone and everyone from the district is invited, so please spread the word. I just got uh, somebody just gave me this announcement right now. And I think we can conclude this broadcast. Yes, we can. Safe to say. I'm Joey Iquinto. And I'm Afid Alfonso. Keep watching that good stuff, ST. And you have a very good one.